TJ, this Durham Strang thing, let me tell you something about what I know about Durham Strang. Victor Crumb out here trying to mack on Hermione Granger. Uh, <laughs> their weird headmaster that turned out to be all about that dark, dark art art. They had some pimp, you know, wares, you know, with the fur. And I do know they need a new rebrand because, ooh, they and them and the dark arts and all that. They need a little uh, rehabilitation. So this is a very interesting challenge. It's a lot like our Slytherin house rebranding in terms of a image rehabilitation effort. However, the what's needed here is a little bit more extreme. You look at this is the school that has been notorious for in the past, not just having, you know, eh, a tolerance for the dark arts, but sometimes even having it in their curriculum to teach the dark arts and what that could kind of have impacts on, but then also not allowing muggle-born students into the school at all. That's that's another thing that kind of holds them back into a different era. And it's just the entire present branding of this institution is tied inherently to the dark arts. When one of the most recent headmasters, you know, back in the 90s, was a Death Eater, Igor Karkaroff, then, and then he was known as being very ruthless and brutal. And everything that's happened since then has been really kind of quiet. And it's it's time for the school to come out of the shadows and be this new rebranded, better than ever, term strength that they can be. And that's a good thing they call us. So it's very much so like Slytherin, the house of Slytherin, where it's like, you have this big famous person who uh, kind of was the main antagonist for a large <laughs> chunk of the wizarding world. Mm -hmm. So how, how do we fix that? Well, you know, before we get too carried away, I want to address that there's a misconception that Durmstrang is an all male military school. Um, the school's founder and first headmistress was a woman, so I don't see that being a thing. And then you know, we can get into the book slash movie aspects later. But I think that we need to address that. This is not... I do like the aspect of it being a little bit more of a militaristic style. You know, one of the things that the school does have that I think the other schools don't is an emphasis on um, martial magic and dueling. That is a that is a cool aspect that isn't there. And so you could look at that from a lens more of uh, training for dealing with dark arts. So you'd need an awareness of dark arts, perhaps more in the like horror kind of uh, world. It's a way to expand on the knowledge. Hogwarts isn't going, they'll teach defense against the dark arts, sure. But you know, that position's been cursed for a minute. But the, the idea of a deeper knowledge of what dark magic is out there, I think that a little bit more, I mean, more like of an advanced thing. I'm thinking like the older students would learn that, but having an awareness of that beyond just how to defend yourself against it, but actually knowing the subject, what it takes, what it involves. I think that that's kind of a cool thing to do. And that's something that the school can offer and can highlight as a curriculum option that other schools just simply don't have. It's important to keep certain things. You know, there is history tied to the school for better or for worse. There are going to be proud alumni and there are going to be, like this is a regional school that does have prestige. It is one of the three schools that, one of the three old schools that competed in the Wizard Tournament. You know, say what you will about whether that should have been brought back in the 90s, but it's a prestigious institution for that alone. And so you talk about the the blood red robes and fur cloaks and the fur hats. I think that a lot of those elements can stay and actually be incorporated into a really cool uh, modern brand. I'm looking at this logo and this is very, mm -hmm. it fits it fits what they were at the time. So I wonder how can we modernize this and keep, not totally change their identity, but update it and give it some new, some new magic.
Okay. Very cool. I want to do something mm-hmm. that was streamlined, sleek, clean. I, you know how I like, you know, symmetry. So Indeed. I came up with this and it takes each element and kind of simplifies it. And then I put my own little spin on it. I did add an element to it. So if we break it down, so this is like basically the the simplified version of it, black on, uh, white on black. So I got the two headed bird. I simplified the, the, the animal skull with the horn kind of going up top. Now the two things on the side, as you can see on the full color one, I actually put the founding year of Durham Strain, 1294, which is, you know, they say it's been around at least since. So that's, that. I went ahead and used the 1294 mm. year. But yeah, my element that I added was at the bottom. These are little magic wands with like the lightning bolt representing kind of the magic coming from, coming off of them. And I kind of used that to kind of mimic this, you know, around the original crest on the left. You see like these lines are in the background. So I wanted something to kind of, yeah gave that dynamic but also referenced the magical school so first off i like that you kept you kind of paid homage to the original color scheme of that crest that you have uh, and and you did incorporate a lot of the shapes you know one of the things we talked about was you know there are a lot of proud alumni it's a strong alumni base there's a lot of people who identify with durham strang through this and so you didn't want to change too much but you also wanted it to be new and fresh and something that can be exciting for future generations i think um it it, for people who know Durmstrang and know their old emblems and old branding this will read like Durmstrang, just a new version and i i like that the incorporating the founding date is really cool i I really do like the touch of the wands I, i think that works very nicely um, rounding out the shape, but also further kind of emphasizing that it is a magic school. You do learn magic there and wand lore is a thing. I, I like it. And I, I like the colors and how they play off of each other. I, during the process, I, cause you know, they have like this red that's there and I know they're uni- like the uniforms that they walk into sometimes have the red in it but it was just hard for me to kind of get the mm-hmm. red because even in the original, the red kind of gets lost. It's kind of like the birds are so, you know, in your face. So with my design, I wanted, I thought that the, the two main color scheme would work best. So you have like different shades of green mm-hmm. and then you have the gold there and, you know, for readability and cleanliness. But the way I've designed is you can put like this emblem here in front of any kind of color and it can work. And sure. it's and it's kind of a, uh, what we call a responsive logo where it's like here you have the, the, the year, but then if you get it smaller, you kind of take the year off, but you still get the idea of what the logo is. And I really like how the text matches with the with the logo. I really like how we were able to take the elements and bring them, kind of have them together. Because, because yeah, like you said, like you don't want to just completely change everything because people have identities tied to it. So, I I really like right. how how this came together. Yeah, and I love that you did the a one color version that you can put smaller kind of like on a like a patch or something and you know if if for example if they're wearing uh their the brown robe or if they're wearing uh something with the fur or if they wear their dress reds exactly. there are ways that you can incorporate that um in maybe a darker color or embossed or maybe even branded into uh the material itself and you can you can keep that while also having like these banners that are on our screen now around the castle um, and any houses Durmstrang may or may not have can have their own play on it as well. I think that that's going to appease a lot of people who will be like, you know, Durmstrang's red and it's like, well, 
not really, but you know, yes, but no. And I think that this will be really cool to see how they would utilize these in a full school branding, knowing that the uniforms can also change if they want to. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I think we got another banger on our hands, TJ. Oh, yes. I think, I think we got another banger. Um, and yeah, that is going to do it for us here on this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, TJ, for joining me once again on another designer and writer adventure. And remember, as you go along in life, teach as you learn and inspire as you do. See y'all next time.